Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these appalling times that we're in. And my word, they are appalling. Can't even uh, find a decent quaffable beer in your average uh, bottle shop uh, these days. Yeah, just uh, rows and rows of trash. Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs. Anyhow, the good news is we are in the midst of an all Japanese beer month here on uh, this channel. And uh, I'm having a look at a Hitachino Nest beer. I haven't had a Hitachino Nest brew for uh, over 10 years, believe it or not, uh, despite uh, how good they are. They're hard to come by uh, here in Australia. This one that we're looking at is their Dai Dai Ale, which is an English style IPA. And uh, it comes in at 6% alcohol by volume. And it's uh, brewed over in Japan, of course, by the uh, Kayuchi Brewery. So, um, I'm really keen to get uh, into this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had a bit of a delay with getting the remainder of the beers for uh, Japanese Beer Month, but they're uh, all here now. There's even more that I could uh, add, um, but uh, I don't think I will. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll probably take too long to get here. It'll be March by then. Anyway, um, let's grab the trusty BB Barfly bottle opener and uh, pop off the cap of this 330ml bottle. Oh, some nice smoke there. I do know that they actually uh, yeah, sell these in cans and uh, larger bottles. Uh, I shudder to think what you'd pay for the larger bottles here. And these 330ml bottles are expensive enough with all the uh, taxes applied. All right. Wow. Well, it's a very uh, active beer, as uh, Jez would say. Beautiful label with the uh, owl. Yeah, and see they haven't in 10 years really changed the design any, which is, uh, which is cool. I like that, I like that sort of consistency. All right, so let's get a look at the appearance. Yeah, very uh, hazy, uh, golden color. Yeah, when you do hold it up to the light, uh, you can see that it's quite uh, effervescent. Um, yeah, let's see. Nearly three fingers, although it was about three when I poured it, of, uh, yeah, frothy uh, beige head there. Mm. Yeah, it looks uh, beautiful. Um, yeah, a bit darker when you uh, hold it uh, away from the light, but uh, wow. Looks very magical in the light, uh, very, very orange or amber. Um, they actually use um, a uh, type of uh, Japanese wild bread mandarin uh, orange. Um, what's it called? Fukure uh, Mikan. Forgive me if I pronounce that wrong, or yeah, these glasses are starting to fail me. Uh, I need to go to the uh, optometrist. Trying to get an appointment there is uh, a challenge in itself. Anyway, I digress. Um, let's move on to the aroma with this one. I expect to smell a bit of uh, orange or mandarin. All right. Uh, yeah, there is that definite presence of, uh, of uh, some citrus there. More sort of like, you know, orange peel. Um, mm. Obviously there's going to be some hot presents uh, in this one, but I'm hoping with it being an English style IPA that it's got a good multi uh, backbone to balance all that out. Yeah. All right. So we've uh, talked about the appearance and we've talked about the uh, aroma. So um, time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, cheers to you all. Let's dive into this one. All right, um, yeah, definitely got a nice sing to it. Um, tantalizes the taste buds, you could say. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely getting some bitterness lingering in the palate. Yeah, that, uh, that citrus uh, is quite present. Um, yeah, leaves a real residual uh, bitterness. Um, there is some uh, malt there, bit of a tinge of sort of caramel, which, um, 
It was nice to see. I, I do need to have another gulp though. Hmm. Yeah. It's present. I mean, there is a, a noticeable malt uh, presence there. But um, it's like it's not quite, you know, at that sort of balancing point. Um, it's definitely a more hoppy brew uh, than anything else. Um, yeah, but overall, it's, it's quite pleasant. It's certainly drinkable. Uh, at 6% ABV, could you session it? Well, yeah, in these appalling times, I would now say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do need uh, strong beers. Of, you know, I mean, 4.5 or 4.6%, which is supposedly full strength. In Australia like really does not cut it folks um, yeah I think the ideal ABV range has always been between five and six percent anyhow um, yeah let's have another goal hmm. okay well um, yeah, that orange flavour is, um, or mandarin, is, is definitely there. Yeah, but, um, yeah, somewhat takes away, you know, from, yeah, the rest of the brew. It's just a little overpowering, but, you know, not really offensive in any way. I think a lot of people um, would probably uh, like this. Um, I was more impressed with the uh, uh, Nagisa uh, IPA uh, from the other week. Um, to be honest, but this ain't um, <clears throat> too bad. Uh, still worth a try. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, leaving some okay lacing on the glass uh, as well. I guess one thing I haven't covered off actually is the price point, but as you can imagine in Australia, uh, obviously you pay a pretty penny, uh, you will pay a pretty penny for it with all the taxes applied yeah unfortunately but that's just how it is um, you know there's no solidarity among the masses no one's or well, a whole group of people aren't willing to you know sort of stand up and uh, you know fight about that uh, so they just keep taxing beer more beer in particular yeah funny how wine has just got a, uh, a flat tax on it yeah. Mm. Yes, but uh, they just keep taxing beer more and more. Anyway, um, let's have a final gulp of the Day Day Ale and uh, give it a score out of 10. Hmm. All right, well, all in all, it doesn't quite blow me away. It's not terrible, but... Um, not quite what I'm looking for in an English style uh, IPA. Um, yeah, I just think the, the orange peel, yeah, sort of spoils it for me. Yeah, but you know, obviously a lot of people uh, would uh, beg to differ. Hmm. Anyhow, so what would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? Uh, I'd probably give it a seven out of 10. Yeah, pretty low score. Um, for uh, you know, a beer of this um, caliber, but yeah, I, I have to be honest. Yeah, just not my thing, really. All right, well, uh, that's it for me. I'll be back again real soon with another um, Japanese beer review for you. A real Japanese beer, not one brewed here under license or brewed in Thailand. Mm. Yeah, anyway, adios, folks. Fare thee well, all. Oh.